Hello, I'm Woodman. This little video is to get you started on Woodstepper. So basically for those who have never used it or are starting with it or don't have a clue how to get any sound out of it. In the next video I will handle all the new features added in 4.0. Before we start I want to mention two basic design concepts behind Woodstepper. When you talk about a sequencer uh, everybody of course thinks about MIDI sequences which you all know uh, which are built in into your synths and which just generate uh, the note value and where the sound is handled by another engine or by the synth itself. Woodstepper on the contrary is basically processing audio from a number of sources, we'll handle that in a moment and the basic idea is that uh, the audio processing uh, all the parameters of the processing can be changed in each step, giving you a large variety of uh, tonal variations or audio variations uh, from step to step. Compare that to a built-in sequence or in a synth where you of course can set the note value and the volume and maybe one or two other parameters. In Woodstepper you can set any parameter in any step. Beside that of course uh, uh, of processing uh, the, the audio, you in a sequencer also want some uh, pitch pattern uh, which you normally would set by setting the notes per step. The basic concept in Woodstepper is, is actually the pitch shifter. When I started with Woodstepper I wanted basically first of all to be able to process real or track audio or live audio and then it's hard to just set a note value. Uh, on the contrary, a pitch shifting value can handle pitch variations even on live audio coming in into Woodstepper. Later I also added VCOs and sample files etc. which we will show you in a moment. But these are the basic two ideas of Woodstepper. Being able to process audio with all different parameters from step to step and have a pitch pattern generated or obtained by the pitch shifter. So let's first, when you start it up, reset the parameters to default. Uh, that's a clean start. Uh, the basic default setting will enable the VCO1 and will set the pitch shifter to one octave down. So if you would start with stepper now, uh, after starting it up, you will hear the same notes being played on each step, quite boring. Um, so what do we do to make this a little bit more interesting? First of all, as I told you, you have to select the source. As you can see here, you have different sources, three VCOs, you can all run them in parallel. You have a sample uh, source or you have the live track audio. For the moment, to keep it simple, we'll use VCO1. In VCO1 you will find some of the familiar parameters, the waveform, uh, of course the, the frequency value which can be changed by uh, uh, pushing a note on your keyboard, some modulation parameters and the level for this oscillator. So if we make it a little bit more interesting, let's take uh, for example this waveform uh, and that's generating already a few more harmonics. Now of course that's still boring so uh, the first thing we want to do here is create some pitch patterns. So how do we do that? Well obviously we go to the pitch panel. The main control here is the pitch uh, shifter value. Now, um, in this version you also see all the note values basically calculated from the ground notes with the pitch shifting value added here. So how do we change the pitch? Well, you simply select a step and then set another uh, pitch value. And you can do that for each step. Oops, let's do that for a few steps here. Oops, uh, go back a little bit, uh, oops, voila, and one more. Okay, now listen to what the result is, is here. Okay, you get the ID by changing the pitch. You see the notes, uh, starting from the ground note, so if I let it play, and I now press another note on the keyboard, 
all the notes are changed because obviously the pitch shifting values are still the same but the ground notes which is the note played by step one is changed and then everything is relative from that okay so we basically now have uh, a sequence with some uh, pitch varying um, notes um, the next step of course is the volume and um, how do we change that uh, well we go to the envelope where just like you have in a synthesizer you can set an attack release and sustain but also the gain value uh, you can set again on each step a different gain value let me just change a few ones here ah while i'm doing this you will see this button which is quite important and which allows you uh, to set the parameter for all steps as it's on now and I change the gain value, you will see that for each step the gain is the same. <clears throat> Obviously you don't want this normally, so you will switch this one off. And then uh, if you then change the gain value, you will see that it's different from step to step. Uh, okay, let's go. So, oops, and one more. Okay, so what does it give us? While we are doing this, we can also shorten the step a little bit to make it a little bit more interesting. So suppose that I want the same game, I, I use the all steps on here, and I, which is showing you another way to change the value. I can change it while the sequencer is running. Okay, obviously we want to make this a little bit faster. And that's already a little bit more interesting. So this is basically the basics for getting sound out of it. You choose the source, which is set to VCO1. You choose some pitch pattern and then you set some volume. By the way, the volume, you can also set it now since vo version 4.0 by touching this button, which allows you uh, to give uh, a DB value directly with a pop-up menu. Uh, and immediately visible here uh, that's another way instead of changing the gain in the envelope okay for the rest you will see some other panels where you can choose also like in a synthesizer or filter or the delay or the panning uh, just play with those parameters and you get different sounds uh, suppose we uh, set it uh, we enable the filter uh, first let's set the volume uh, back we go all steps is on we set it to the full value we go to the filter for the moment i choose the value to be the same in all uh, steps now let's uh, listen to it you know this behavior from uh, the synths is basically the same um, to make it even more interesting we can go to the delay section here you also find some familiar controls the scent the feedback and very important the delay we set it a little bit different and you get a different pattern okay this is basically the very basics to get wood stepper going maybe a few more words about the source an important one probably which you will want to use is the samples uh, to get samples into wood stepper you first have to press the load button and there's two ways you can either load the sample from a file or you can record it ah uh, file is of course simple you just there is a few samples provided um, let's choose one okay here you see a typical snare sample to enable the samples you have to go to the sample panel you can switch it on here you can also touch the button there which these LEDs also are buttons and allow you to see immediately which sources are on so if we only listen to the sample okay we still have of course the pitch let's for the moment disable the pitch 
go back to the sample. And that's your sample.